The objective of this session is to understand what is Jinja2 template in Ansible and how to use the Jinja2 template for your Ansible playbooks. Before we jump to the demo, let's try to understand like what is Jinja2 template. So as you can see onto the screen, I have listed two benefits of Jinja2 template. The first one is the dynamic configuration and the second one is the dynamic script. So whenever you want to use the dynamic configuration or dynamic script, then you should rely on the Jinja2 template. I know it sounds complicated, but the next example, which I'm just going to take, it is going to explain the Jinja2 template in a very simple manner. All right, so the, let's start with like how you can create a Jinja2 template. So onto the screen, you can see I have created my Jinja2 template with the name like myconfig.j2. So any Jinja2 template which you are creating inside your Ansible project that should end with the extension file name that is j2, that is Jinja2 template. And you can define any name for your Jinja2 template. So here I have kept the name as a myconfig, but in your case, you can keep any name of your choice. Now, once you have defined your Jinja2 templates, then I'm assuming your Jinja2 templates is empty. But here I have just taken a one screenshot and don't worry, we are just gonna take a demo and where I'm gonna show you the complete configuration also. But here onto the screen, if you will see, this is the configuration of my one of the HTTP server. And this server here, I'm just trying to put the dynamic value for server port, which you can see over here, which I have already highlighted. So whenever you're working with the Jinja2 template, then you need to provide a interpolation. So here the interpolation starts with the double curly braces on the left side and double curly braces on the right side. And between those, you need to put the variable, which is a dynamic value, which you will be providing in from your Ansible playbook. So that's the first rule for using the Jinja2 template. All right, so now you know like how to create your Jinja2 template with the J2 extension and how to create your interpolation and assign some variable inside those interpolation. The next thing which I'm just gonna talk about is how to call your Jinja2 template inside your Ansible playbook and how, how to pass the variable value which you are using inside your interpolation. So the first thing which we are gonna take a look is like how to call your Jinja2 template. So as you can see, this is the screenshot which I have taken. And here, first of all, you need to use the keyword, which is template, so that Ansible Playbook know that you are just going to use the Jinja2 template. After that, you need to specify the file name along with the path. Since this Ansible Playbook and Jinja2 template are presented in the same directory, that's why I have just specified the name of that Jinja2 template, because that's presented through the same directory. Third thing which is really important is like you need to pass the value to that particular variable. And in our case, the variable is server port. So here you need to use the wars keyword inside your Ansible playbook so that it knows that you are just passing the variable. And after that, you need to assign the value whatever you want to assign to it. So these, these are the key principles when you are using the Jinja2 template. So first of all, you need to use the template keyword. After that, you need to specify the Jinja2 template file name along with the correct path. And after that, you need to use the wars keyword. And then you can just specify the variable value which you are trying to use inside your interpolation. So in that case, this is our server underscore port and that is the value which is 480. Let's start with the demo. And first of all, we are just gonna take a look onto the project structure and where we have defined our Jinja2 template. So here onto the screen, you can see this is the part 11, Ansible Jinja2 template, that's the directory. And here I have created a roles directory. And don't worry, this whole project is available onto my GitHub repository. So you can find the link of my GitHub repository into the description section. And here into the roles directory, I have created one role that is install light httpd. That's the one more server. It's a simple HTTP server. And here inside the task, I have created a main.yml, but along with that, I have a myconfig.j2. That's my Jinja2 template. And remember, I'm just gonna use this Jinja2 template inside the main.yml. That's why I have kept it over there. But in case if you have kept that particular Jinja2 template in some other directory, then you need to put the correct path when using your Jinja2 template. All right. That's, that's something related to how to include your Jinja2 template. But if you take a look onto this Jinja2 template, then here at line number 14, this is the uh, variable value which I'm passing dynamically. So here 
onto the screen, you can see this is the interpolation syntax, which is available here on both left hand side and right hand side. And here is the value of that particular variable, which we will be passing when we are running the Ansible playbook. Let's take a look onto the main.yml and how to include our Jinja2 template. So just double click onto this main.yml and here you can see at line number 11, that's the source directory and where I'm just gonna specify my Jinja2 template file name. So here I have a specified that is my config.j2. And remember, always keep this source directory inside the template tag. So that's the key thing when you, you are, when you are using the Jinja2 template. All right, now the next thing which you need to do over here is to define the vars. And in the vars, you need to specify what variable you're passing inside your Jinja2 template. So here I'm specifying server underscore port and the value is 80. And which you can see over here into the Jinja2 template, which is server underscore port. So that's how I'm just gonna include my Jinja2 template and I'm just gonna assign some value or passing some value to the server underscore port variable. All right, so that's all about the Jinja2 template and how to include that Jinja2 template inside your Ansible playbook. I, I would like to explain my Ansible playbook and what we are going to achieve with that Ansible playbook. So here I'm just going to install light HTTP web server onto my Linux machine. So that's the first task which I'm just going to do. Secondly, here in the uh, second task, I'm just creating a configuration. This is an HTTP conf or like a server configuration which i'm planning to replace with my custom configuration and my custom configuration i would like to start my server on a port 80 so that's why i'm just going to replace this particular file this light http conf which is present on etc and uh, slash light http directory so i would like to replace this particular file which is present over there and i would like to replace this file with my config.j2 which is my jinja2 template and here I'm just going to start finally my light HTTP D server. Let's run this playbook and verify our Jinja2 template, whether it's working or not. So what you need to do, you just need to head over to readme file. And here I have written the command to execute this particular Ansible playbook. So I'm just going to copy this command, go to terminal and paste this command. So as you can see over here, our task has just finished. So here I have installed the light HTTP web server. After that, we have created our own custom configuration for that server. And then finally we have started our server. So what I'm gonna do next, I'm just gonna SSH into my server and I'm just gonna verify my uh, server configuration, whether we have properly replaced those server configuration with my Jinja2 template or not. So this is my terminal and I'm just gonna do, I'm just gonna SSH into my server, uh, which is my EC2 instance running on AWS. Simply hit enter and here I can uh, see that I have logged in into my uh, Linux server. I'm just going to clear the screen and I'm just going to run the cat command to go to the etc light HTTP and then I'm just going to view the con file. And if we scroll up, then you can see this is the server port and the value which I have assigned over here is 80. So that's how we are, we are just able to replace our custom configuration for our server. So that's a one place I have modified, but you can use this Jinja2 template concept to uh, replace or put your custom configuration on a various places. So it is not limited that you can only replace one configuration, but you can replace more than one configuration so that you get more dynamicity and more custom configuration, which you can put onto the servers. So that's a one use case, but you can use this concept to customize your configuration at a certain extent. So that will really help you to put your custom configuration and make your Ansible playbook more powerful. All right, so now you have seen the Jinja2 template and how to use the Jinja2 template to put your custom server configuration. But I just want to take the same example and I just want to take it uh, to the next level where I'm just gonna change the port from 80 to 90, 90. So why I'm doing this because you can use the same Ansible playbook and instead of running on a port 80, you can change the port to run it on a different port. But that's not an ideal uh, scenario, but it can happen in future that you want to change some of your configuration and instead of running a server on a particular port, you want to change to run that port, that server onto different port. So that's a hypothetical scenario, but that's not in actual real use cases, but something similar can happen into your own configuration also. So what I'll do over here, so instead of running it on an 80, I'm just going to change it to run it on a 90, 90. So 
With the help of this Ansible playbook and Jinja2 template, you can simply update your Ansible playbook and pass a new value to your server configuration. So here I'm just passing the value 9090. I'll just save these changes and I'll head over to my terminal, uh, go to my Ansible playbook. I'm just gonna clear the screen and rerun the playbook. So this time what it is going to do, it is just going to update the server configuration and it is going to start my same server on a different port, which is 9090. So here you can see uh, it has changed the configuration and you can see the color has changed over here, which means our server configuration has been changed. And what we can do, we can again go back to the another uh, terminal over here where we have already logged in. I'm just going to clear the screen over here and we are just going to verify whether our changes has been reflected there or not. So I'm just going to rerun the cat command to view the changes. And if we scroll up and here you can see. So we are able to update our server configuration just by running the playbook. So that's the power of your Jinja2 template, which you can extend and customize your Ansible playbook. So that was all about the Jinja2 template in Ansible playbook. And so far we have covered six chapter. And in the next chapter, we will be talking more about the deployment strategy and where we'll be talk about like how you can use the Ansible playbook on a single server and when you can use the same Ansible playbook to run on a multiple server. So that's going to be the next topic in this series. And if you are new to this channel, then please consider subscribing to this channel where you will see the similar content onto the DevOps, especially like a Terraform, Ansible, AWS, GCP, Kubernetes and Docker. So please consider subscribing to this channel. And if you have any question related to the today's session, then please put down into the comment section and I'll try to get back to you. So see you into the next session of the Sensible series. Till then, take care and bye bye.